Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna install a battery switch. I'm gonna explain a bit how it works. So here's some equipment we're gonna connect. Just to give you a good explanation how a battery switch works, you'll understand after this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get on to it. First thing we're gonna do is get rid of all the grounds. We're all gonna connect them on the bus bar. You can pause the video at any time so you can see what's going on. With the ground out of the way, I have marked our inputs and outputs of the switch. We can start connecting the battery. So the plus of the cracking battery will go to input one of the switch. Now we'll connect the house battery, which is usually a deep cycle battery. We'll take the positive and connect it to input two of the switch. Now that our two batteries are connected, we can connect our engine. We'll take the positive of the engine and connect it to the output of the switch. With the engine connected, now we could connect the fuse box. It goes connected at the same place at the output of the switch. Your fuse box is the one that's gonna have all your equipment on board. This part is very important. The water pump. Always connect it directly to the deep cycle battery. So the switch will have no effect on the water pump. It will always work unless your deep cycle battery is dead. Now that the wiring is complete for the switch, if you turn your knob to input one, this is what will happen. You can see with the little green line that I added that input one and output will be connected. At this point, we have the starter battery selected. So you can start your engine. Once your engine is started, you don't need your cranking battery anymore. So you can switch your battery switch to input two and the rest of your equipment will run on the deep cycle battery. But now since you're on input two, your engine is only recharging the deep cycle battery. Some switches have the option of selecting boat inputs and that's where boat batteries while your engine is running will be recharging. It's not the best option, but if you need it, it's there. And then on the switch, we have the off position. That's where no batteries will be connected. So that's why the green lines have disappeared. This is why the water pump goes directly connected to the deep cycle battery. And this is how you install a battery switch. I hope this has helped you guys out. Once again, don't forget, like and subscribe. Thank you. Till next time.